I, I, I think I respect uh, Extinction Rebellion to a point, <laughs> right? I think we all do. We all go, yeah, I can see this is worth doing. And in com conversation, we're like, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Really noble, yeah. But then there's part of all of us that looked at those people protesting on the tops of trains at five o'clock in the evening and went, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> who does that? Five o'clock in the evening, protesting on the tops of trains. Anybody that's lived on either of these two islands knows you do not fuck with people when they are trying to go home. <laughs> on the way to work, fuck it, be my guest. I'll help you up, I'll help you up. Where's your banner? Where's your banner? I'll make you a banner. Get up there, lads, we're gonna miss this. We're gonna miss two hours of work here. Help him up, help him up. He's not even with the protest, fucking get him up there to fuck. <laughs> London takes it a whole nother level. You do not fuck with London people on the way to work. I was trying to get, was trying to get home, got to get, get home. It's so fucking tense. It's tense as fuck. I saw a guy call a set of sliding doors pricks. <laughs> gotta get home, gotta get home. Try and get home. Fucking hell, I'm not going out tonight. How the fuck am I gonna get out? Preoccupied with it at all times. Gotta get home, gotta get home. How the fuck am I gonna get home? You hear them saying it, it's on everything. God, how the fuck am I gonna get home for Fick Street? Fucking hell, I'm not going to fucking do that. I'm not doing that. How the fuck am I gonna get home? <laughs> Mickey, Mickey Flanagan's right. British people are obsessed with going out and out out, but they're equally obsessed with going home. <laughs> if something is on their way home, they love it. It fills them with joy. It's on me way I'm at that mine. It's no problem at that mine at all. It's on me way out. Look, I'll bring your dogs to your crematorium. It's not a problem. <laughs> Get a little certificate, not a problem. If it's not on the way home, equally massive offence. Massive offence to say, a fucking prick asked me for a lift home. You know, it's not even on my way. It's not even on my way. It's an hour out my fucking way. I don't know why he's even asking me. It's fucking bullshit. I don't know. It's not on my way home. Shouldn't have to do it. Absolutely insulting. I heard a guy on a bus the other day who's going, I'm not doing it. It's not my way home. I'm not going. Look, that should be the end of the discussion. It is not on my way home. And give a fuck if it's your birthday, mum. It's not me way out. <laughs> I, 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 I don't understand it. I watch it. I, like, I have sat in cars, in car parks as queues form and you get to the top and you realise it's another British person reversing their car into the space, causing fucking chaos. I've got to reverse into the spot because they're so fucking preoccupied with going home. <laughs> and my 17 year were like, what is it? And we realized British people are obsessed with leaving. It is all they think about. It is all, it is on their mind at all times. How am I gonna leave? They don't even call it holidays. They call it annual leave. <laughs> think I'm better leave right now. It's, uh, she's only gone and left me. It's all they talk about. <laughs> and that's why this shit has pissed them off so much because it's taking so long. Why is it taking so long? <laughs> We're not fucking surprised. Because Irish people know better than anybody that British people take fucking ages to leave. <laughs> but they were told it was going to be fast, weren't they? They were told it was going to be fast. They were told it was going to be easy. They were to, they were, it was sold to them as, this is going to be like leaving Tesco Value Club. <laughs> Just unsubscribe from the email sent in your card and we're done. And in reality, it's been more like leaving a gym. <laughs> a direct debit's gonna go out for five years. I'm what? F five years of direct debit? I barely even used the EU. I didn't know we were even in it for a time. Right now, Boris is in Brussels going, would it be possible for us to use the pool? <laughs> on the weekends, on the weekends. Could we use the communal areas? Could we use the communal areas? Could we? Maybe? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Hmm. 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 I'm, I'm going to make a suggestion. I, I, please don't mention it to them. Please don't. Don't say I said this. 
would it be possible to get an off-peak membership? <laughs> I got very upset. I marched, I signed stuff because I thought they didn't really want to do it, they just needed to check it again. And I thought that was something we shared as a nation. Check it again. We all believe in checking it again. Check it again. Check it again, though. Is that on yet? Is that on the other side? Check it again. Did you lock the door? Did you lock the door? I've got to fucking check it again now. I'm getting those exam results checked again. Built into your life. We believe in check it again so much. On every referendum, we go best two out of three. It's built into your life. If you close a Word document on your laptop, this was an Irish idea. If you close a Word document on your laptop, it will say to you, are you sure? I'm going to save the changes. I thought they'd want to do the same with our country, but they don't. They don't. And it hurt. It hurt that discomfort of knowing, oh, we don't share that. It was tough. And it was tough knowing the ignorance that's there. The ignorance to, they didn't know there was a border. <laughs> Let alone where it was. They didn't know there was one. Most of their knowledge came from Derry girls. <laughs> you go, what? What, really? And you'd have MPs coming out on the front lawn of Westminster and saying the words, I think Ireland is the reason this is all happening and taking so long. I think Ireland, if they had any moral courage, they would simply join the UK and leave with us. <laughs> mm. I love the derisive laughter that gets there. <laughs> Because in England, when I tour this, uh, there's parts of the country where people go, that's not bad out there, why? why did nobody suggest that? Honest to Christ, the idea that we would join the UK and leave with them is the same for us. Like being at a house party, enjoying yourself in the kitchen, and somebody you're barely connected to walks in and goes, we're going. I don't, I don't, sorry, sorry, who are you again? <laughs> like I, yeah, like I know we're friends and all. I know, like, but I think, I think you think we're better friends than we actually are. But <laughs> I, yeah, 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 yeah. And I know we arrived at roughly the same time. But what? No, I don't know. I don't know whose party this is either. I don't know how it works. I arrived with some alcohol. I appear to be getting an awful lot more back. Fairness. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to do what you're doing. No. You, you can head on. Because I have a feeling that this party's going to get an awful lot better for me. When you fuck off. <laughs> <laughs>